You notice I had to close the valve a little bit more because it just it keeps getting drier and drier. So. Fumes from the heat right there. 
there. And so, making it a really dry vapor. Um, and the, the mix is not quite right because I have air leaking right here. If I could fix the air coming through here, then I could fine tune it a lot more. Hey everybody, sorry my battery died, um, but the point of this video was to show you what I've been saying when I say that the uh, drier the vapor is, the less air you need going into the engine, um, and I hope I proved that point pretty well. As you can see, as I get it got further along, the, uh, the liquid in the jar um, basically absorbed into the socks for one but it was mostly just used up as a cold vapor. Um, so your engine consumes a lot more with a cold vapor than it does a dry vapor. And as you saw, when um, the gas level ran out and the jar was empty, um, it still ran perfectly fine, but I had to adjust the valve so that not as much air was coming in through that valve. Um, and it'll actually eventually get to the point, like you saw how it was running really pretty crappy. Um, the, dry, the vapor was extremely dry, but I have a leak right here between this gasket. I need to tighten it down more, and I think I need to get a gasket material that's silicone, um, a high heat gasket. That way I can completely seal that off and not have any interference with that at all. Um, so, and what I was, wanted to also say is, uh, it'll actually get to the point where I need to put my finger over this to restrict the airflow coming here, so I want to put a valve right there as well. So I can control the airflow on that portion once it gets drier. Um, <clears throat> and I'll make a video of that once I get the secondary valve and when I seal this off better um, to, to show you guys um, the extent that the air needs to be cut off when the draper, the vapor gets drier. It just it over it's too much of a uh, air to fuel ratio when it gets drier oh, there's way too much air that goes in so you have to restrict it on both ends you have to completely shut off this valve over here then you need to shut this valve off a lot over here too um so i'll like i said i'll show you guys that in another video um once i got it all taken care of i'm actually in the middle of getting a container built for this out of stainless steel and i'll have a chamber in it that i run my exhaust through so it's basically going to be a bucket inside of a bucket or a cup inside of a cup um, that's welded on the top so that the, it's completely airtight. And then on the sides, I'm going to have, like right here, I'm going to take this muffler off and just have a um, piece of galvanized pipe. I'm going to thread the hole inside my exhaust where it comes out. And then uh, I'm going to have a hole in the outer layer of the, the outer cup to let the exhaust through and then have another hole right here to let it exit out of. Um, so it's going to circulate around the inner cup and heat the gas up and I'll have to use a lot less material in between like socks um, because there's not really going to be a splashing effect. It's just going to be solely uh, vapor through the heat. There's not going to be a bubbler system. It's not going to bubble through the gas at all. It's just going to be um, and fumes being sucked up through there so I'll show you that once I get it um, there's been a few of you guys that have donated and I really appreciate it um, when I make my video I'll let you guys know who it was that's donated to me and that's been helping me out a little bit every little bit counts there's been a couple people donate 10 bucks here and there and uh, another couple people but that's um, giving me a little bit more um, and uh, then I also got a HHO cell from a, another guy, um, John is his name. And so John, just want to say thanks for that, man. Um, once I get all of my circuitry parts, I will be putting it together. I have some diodes and stuff that I'm going to use to 
make it so the current only falls in one direction but uh thanks uh, for all the support guys appreciate it um if you guys want to donate feel free to uh, i have my paypal account and i in a lot of my videos i have a link in there that'll take you to my paypal so that you can donate um all donations are appreciated and i do use it all to uh do the gas vaporizer stuff i just ordered some heat line um i'm making my own uh injector adapter and i'm gonna run a coil of wire around it resistive wire to heat it up extremely hot um and then i'm gonna shoot gas through it using my injector and uh it's gonna be pretty sweet so all right well take care everybody peace out have fun